They shall grow not old as we that, that are left grow old. I shall not weary them nor the years condemn at the going down of the sun and in the morning. We will remember them. Many soldiers of all nationalities involved in the fighting were killed at Gallipoli, including more than 8,000 Australians. Many more were injured and all endured terrible conditions, including extreme heat, strong wind, rain and snow, loud noises from weapons and the grief of having people being hurt or dying around them. We remember Gallipoli to remember and honour the soldiers who fought and died or were injured there. Although the goal of seizing Gallipoli and advancing towards Constantinople wasn't achieved, the toughest and the bravery of the Anzacs became well known in Australia and New Zealand and around the world and helped give rise to what has become known as the Anzac legend. 
Many people believe that Anzac legend sometimes took uh, as meaning huh, being meaning being hard working, tough, brave, and fair, looking after your mates. Is either something that defines us today, or is that something that we should remember, celebrate, and to aspire to? The first Anzac commemorations were held on April 20, 25th, 1916. There were services and marches by soldiers and nurses across Australia. A sports day in the Australian military camp in Egypt and, man, and march by more than 2,000 Australian and New Zealand soldiers through London. A London newspaper headline called The Marching Soldiers, The Night of Gallipoli. For the remainder of World War One, Anzac Day was used as an opportunity to recruit more people into the armed forces. In the 1920s, Anzac Day became a national day to remember the more than 60,000 Australians who died during the war. All the traditions of modern Anzac Day's commemorations were in place by the 1930s. Australians intended commemorative services around Australia and Gallipoli, Gallipoli and elsewhere around the world at dawn. The time of the original landing these are called dawn services. Later on, Anzac Day former service and service women met up and marched through towns and cities. If the form, former service or service woman is no longer alive, their family members sometimes march for, march for them wearing their medals of service. This year, we commemorate the Anzac spirit differently to other years we cannot meet and march but as individual families we can still remember those who sacrificed so much so we have so we can live the life we lead today we shall remember them Hi, my name is Amelia and I'm going to be reading a Anzac poem called In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow Between the crosses, row and row That mark our place and in the sky The larks still bravely singing fly Scarce heard amid the guns below We are the dead, short days ago We lived Felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from fall, failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break with faith, with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields.
They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them.